Good morning. Uh, today what we're going to do is continue uh, drawing as well as creating uh, something called a pattern uh, in the swatch libraries, a pattern that you're actually going to be creating. So let's get started. Uh, we're going to start by creating a new document. Uh, this time we're going to make it 9 by 9 inches. So we're just going to go ahead and redo this and make it 9 by 9. Uh, and CMYK, 300 uh, pixels per inch is fine. It's going to be a print quality. And uh, I'm going to go to Windows Workspace and go to Essential Classic. And if I'm there, I'm just going to reset it so everything uh, goes back to uh, this Essential uh, Workspace that we're used to. Um, I've downloaded, I want you to go out to the internet and find something interesting to draw. It could be a trash can, it could be a cartoon character if you want, uh, or it could be um, a, from a photograph. I'm going to import uh, a photo that I saw online that I thought would be interesting. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and place it and uh, resize it so that it fits within my 9x9 nine nine inch space using the uh, shift key to kind of scale it. Uh, I'm going to go into the layers palette as we normally do, open it up and select that image and change the opacity to 50% and hit return. And now I can uh, kind of see through it to the paper just like normal. And you know the drill, I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer, create a new layer with the new layer tool uh, button here. Make sure I'm selecting layer two and then I'm going to go right to uh, kind of illustrating uh, this using the pencil tool technique that we saw last time. I'm going to outline this entire um, seal here uh, and then I'm going to do the foreground objects like the two things here and then a little bit of the face detail. Uh, remember the pencil tool was what we were working with the, uh, last time uh, and it should be located right here. Uh, it's, it might be under the shaper tool if you don't see it. It's uh, the letter N as in Nancy. And let's go ahead, I might just start with the eyes. Uh, I'm going to double click my pencil tool to make sure it's uh, kind of smooth uh, and that these paths uh, close so that I have a nice closed path when I'm done. I'm going to be using a uniform uh, line width and I'm going to use a stroke of two. And I'm just going to go ahead and carefully outline these. And then you can see the stroke of two is a little bit big. I'm going to use a stroke of one and I'm also going to change the stroke color to black. And that's still a little big, so I'm going to make a stroke about 0.5. There we go. And I'll just continue with this other eye. Now, you notice that my stroke doesn't change when I do this uh, like twice. So like if I set this to 0.5, it actually finishes the stroke here. Uh, if yours is not doing this, if for whatever reason, your stroke is actually going back to uniform one every single stroke, I want you to go to the Windows uh, Appearance tab. And I want to make sure that uh, under this flyout um, that um, it should be, let's see, Windows Appearance. This probably was fixed in this thing, but if yours is doing something weird, uh, I'm pretty sure clear appearance or reduced to basic appearance, none of these should be checked. So if you have anything checked here like this, uh, you might it might actually go back to uh, the previous stroke uh, thing so I'm going to undo that uh, but that's where you would normally uh, go back to fixing something that uh, where the appearance was changing on the stroke but since it's not if it's changing for you please tell me all right I'm just going to continue drawing uh, I'm going to actually use a different type of brush here so let me just undo that and now I've got this brush like this Just seeing why this brush doesn't look as good as it looks on the the, the uh, stroke it's like and it's got a rounded corner maybe that's the problem um, let me do the basic as our profile I don't know why I had this all rounded but there we go that's like we're, we're learning right um, but here we go I've got the interesting stroke and I'm just gonna increase that to one and there we go and you can kind of see that's how the stroke works and I'm going to be using it. Uh, just make some little dots here, little dots here. Make a line here, make a line here. And so what I'd like you to do is take your time and actually go through and 
um, draw this um, or whatever animal or whatever object you've decided to, to take, go ahead and use your pencil tool and remember you can, uh, wherever you, if you want to continue a line, you can always do that. If you make a mistake, starting on the line and ending on the line fixes the mistake. What I need you to do is just go ahead and go through this and like this will be in front. Oops, don't do that. And notice how I'm, if I'm going to start a new line here, it's going to start, it's going to like make its outline. So you have to be careful like to start away far and far enough from the line <laughs> uh, so that it doesn't start over. So if you wanted to like uh, start, do this line for instance, you, you just kind of cross it over like right here. And then you can always go to the V tool to fix um, this tool to select this point and then move that point in if you wanted to and change some of the vector work uh, vectors here on this line so that it would work. So maybe that should go over here and you can so you could always get this to be more perfect afterwards. But anyway, I'm just going to continue drawing with my pencil tool. And I'd like you to go ahead and uh, I think fast forward this. idea. Now remember this is not finishing this stroke because um, these two strokes are not uh, close enough to uh, to actually create a this is the, the stroke here and the the other stroke are not connected so they don't connect unless they actually connect to uh, each other and you can kind of see that they're two separate strokes which is fine for what we're going to be doing. So I'm just going to go in here add some a little bit more detail uh, especially around the feet maybe and again, if you feel like this is like, if you don't want it to c continue a stroke, like so for, say for instance, you don't want it to do that, you can always go to the tool and actually turn off closed path and edit selected paths. And this will allow you to get really close and you can kind of see this just now acts just like a pencil and it won't try to connect anything together. Uh, so if you're just making strokes like this uh, and you don't want it to um, just automatically connect, of course you're gonna have lots of little strokes right throughout the piece but that's okay because we're going to be fixing that okay so say we've got this image and we're liking it let's take a look at how that looks without the um, underlying layer okay <coughs> okay so at this point um, what I'd like you to do is go ahead and we're going to duplicate say you've uh, done the work uh, and we're going to duplicate this artboard so we're going to go to the artboard uh, tool here going to zoom out and we're going to copy edit copy we're going to copy this artboard. It says it won't copy anything that's locked, which is our drawing layer or our photograph layer, which is fine. And then what we're going to do is paste the artboard back in. And what happened is it pasted just the things that weren't locked. So in this case, uh, you can kind of see that this has none of the uh, locked layer one in it, just the layer two, which is what we want. Okay, and now we're going to go back to the selection tool. And in order to get all these, these lines to actually be th actual lines and not just strokes, we're gonna go to Object, Expand Appearance, and you notice now they're all strokes, but you can kind of see that some of them overlap, and we want this all to kind of merge together. So in the Properties palette, we're gonna find the Pathfinder tool, and just so you can see, I can open it up. It's called the Merge, <coughs> sorry. It's called the Merge tool, uh, and it's usually the, the first one right here. It's Merge, uh, but you can click Merge, and what happens is um, you can kind of see that it <coughs> has officially merged at anything that's black uh, into one uh, solid object. So this is what we want, because then now you could use the Live Paint tool if you want it to fill this in. It should now be, uh, there should be an inside and an outside. And to show you that, I'll just hit the letter K for the Live Fill. And we're going to go and pick a color like red and you can kind of see that it does in fact uh, fill in the red here but but we're not going to be filling in with red what we're going to be doing now is actually creating an interesting pattern that we're going to be able to use to fill in things uh, in the future so we're going to actually create a, a brand new pattern and in order to do that why don't we make a new artboard so let's go to the artboard tool and just make one over here um, i'm just going to say it's five by five Okay, and you can still, I'm, I'm still on layer uh, two, which is our editable layer, right? 
and I'm just going to go and I'm going to zoom into this little uh, area. And what I'm going to do is use a pencil tool and just for fun I want you guys uh, to just go ahead and create a couple of strokes using the pencil tool and obviously the stroke should have a color like black and I'm going to give it a style uh, and I'm going to increase the stroke size like this maybe I don't like that stroke maybe I like that one better and what I'm just going to do is just make a bunch of like I'm just going to pull a bunch of like different shapes here just so I have a group okay what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all of these and object group them so now that uh, I've got one thing I got I can actually use as a group <coughs> Uh, the next thing we're going to do is um, 